it is Manchester United nil. Manchester City making it 3 nil against Manchester United. Manchester United losing, losing, losing all the three fucking points in the Manchester Derby. Manchester City is 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 blue. Manchester United definitely is blue because we are feeling blue as Manchester United fans. Manchester's blue all day, every day, and we knew it. When this game came in, we knew we was going to lose. But was we going to suffer like this? And this is why I was wearing black. Because I dressed up for a funeral. Yes, I did. Dressed up in black. Because knew exactly what was going to go on in this game. Mentioned that was going to let me down. To have hope? No. No, no, no. I don't have hope when it came to the Manchester Derby. I knew exactly what it was, man. I knew exactly what it was. I knew the lane that we was going to be in. And we was going to be in that losing lane. Manchester United performance today let us all down. We knew they was gonna play shit, but did we know they was gonna play this shit? Whoo! The goals that we conceded, bloody hell, man. Eric Ten Hag, yes, people are saying Eric Ten Hag out. Yes, a lot of these players are shit. Bruno Fernandes, not good enough. Marcus Rashford, not good enough. All these players that you put your hopes on, not good enough. A lot of these players can't do anything. Scott McTominay, when it comes to the scruff in these kind of games, he's not good enough, you know. Mason Mount, shit as ever, bruv. This transfer was just a waste of money. Amabat couldn't do anything. McTominay and Evans, you got Dalo, you got Linda. All these players are shit. Absolute shit. Doo-doo, pants, bag of dog shit. And today, in terms of performance-wise, these players let us down. They even let their manager down. They cannot keep the ball for anything. You look at the possession, 62% the whole entire game for Man City. 38%, you know. 21 shot from Man City. 7 shots from Man United. 3 on target, 10 for Man City. We was absolute doo-doo. Dog shit. The first 45 minutes... Bang average first half, even worse than what we usually give out, you know. Even if we started off well in the first six minutes, the team couldn't do anything. Dominated as expected from Manchester City, as 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 always. Manchester United was always going to dominate possession. We knew that, but it's about what we do outside of that possession. And guess what we did? Shit. Jack shit. As always, Manchester United giving the ball away at every second, every opportunity to Manchester City. It, it's a terrible performance, as always. That first 45 minutes. And a goal coming from a penalty. Hoyland holding up Rodri. And the, and the VAR decision came. And you know what? I think it was soft. But VAR has been a dickhead towards Manchester United. Such a super dickhead. You know what? You, you are enemy of our progress, even though we are not progressing at all. And then 1-0 at halftime, Haaland scoring that penalty, making it 1-0 for Manchester City. And halftime coming in, second half, I just thought to myself, let's let's turn it up a bit. Because we've been in this position before last time. You know, we came back and won the game at Old Trafford. But this season is a different season, you know. You know, and last season isn't this season as well. So Manchester United going to that second half. Conceding a goal again, Haaland. You know what? Big up on Anna for saving and saving. But Haaland, Bernardo Silva ate us up. He ate us up, bro. He done a lot towards us. He damaged us. That looping cross from Bernardo Silva to find Haaland who jumped heavens and earth up and above a mile away. Like he was Buzz Lightyear. Yes, like he was Buzz Lightyear. Headed that ball in in the back of the net. Oh, no, no, couldn't do anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't do anything, but he saved us as well. Oh, no, no. And then the third goal coming in as well. Counter-attack. Harlan finding the ball to cross it in. And then Phil Foden tapping it in. It was curtains for us. Down and under for Manchester United. Was no way back. No chance in Hill. Fixman man will always say in these interludes. Oh my God, my heart is hurting. I'm, I, I'm done. This weekend, pure, pure bullshit. You know, we may have won the Champions League midweek, but this means nothing. That means nothing. No, you look at Manchester United's campaign so far. It is piss past poor, man. You look at the players today, and I thought Bruno Fernandes, and I'm tired of this. I keep saying this. Bruno Fernandes is a fraud. Hush Poppy's cousin, Bruno Fernandes is. You are Hush Poppy's cousin. You are a scammer. You are a Yahoo 
Yahoo boy, you know, you sing narrow money. Am I a Yahoo boy? You know, you be decent this G um, goals and assists, bruv. Because on the pitch, in my eyes, I don't see it, bruv. But on the score sheets, it says you got X, X amount of goals and X amount of assists. But you, if when you watch this guy, he's a fraudster. Yahoo boy. Hush Puppy's cousin, bruv. All the biggest fraudsters in the world, he's a part of them, bruv. He's conned you. He scammed you. Marcus Rashford, another poor game. Another poor decision making as well. Just continues to consistently be inconsistent. Oilen, 20 year old, he's not going to score a Premier League game for a very long time. You know what? He's as much as good as he is, he is a shining light, but it's not. Like the decision to bring him in and and just make sure he's the main striker was a bad mistake because we could have should we should have brought two strikers in. Ericsson, nowhere to be found. McTominay, absent all the time. All the time. The defence did what it can, but they were useless. But uh, Onana was the only one I can say he can hold his head up high and be proud. Man, the match stick has to go to Andre Onana. He was the only shining light. Donkey of the match. I'm going to have to give it to Rashford and Bruno again. They, 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 they're shit. They, they hold us back. They're the best players and they always hold us back. They ain't going to do nothing. But anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor Spice. Let me know in the comments of your thoughts in today's game. Who was your man of the match? Who was your donkey of the match as well? What did you think of today's score as well? Are you Eric Ten Hag out? You know, are you owners out? Let me know, guys. And remember, we are back live 8 p.m. UK time today for the catch up volume 116, the, 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 the full reaction Man United versus Manchester City. We'll see you at 8 p.m. Oh, I'm, my head is hurting. But anyway, guys, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace.